the historical battles, but I've, we're going to start with uh, the new ones. We're going to start with Tamerlane, because that's apparently the easiest one. Amir of Transohiana. The man's eyes surveyed the room as he began to speak. A life of flight is a cruel thing. I have seen numerous battles and escaped the clutches of death too many times to count. Thousands of men once followed my call, but I am now without land, army, or title. All that I have left is my quest for vengeance. Precious time passes as I speak, so I will be blunt. Doom rapidly approaches your land, and you must be ready for it. The armies of the cursed Tamerlane draw ever nearer, watering the ground with blood. This warlord is the greatest scourge ever seen in all Asia. If you will listen, the terror that he has inspired. Born into the Balas, nomads inhabiting the Central Asian steppe, Tamerlane was bred from birth to be a warrior. He spent his youth as a mercenary in the service of the local chieftains, but soon rose to power when his father, a chieftain himself, died. At this time, Transoxiana was divided between four powers, in the west lay the White Horde and the Blue Horde, mere shadows of the former glory of the Golden Horde. In the east were the two wings of the declining Shagatai Kanat. Tamerlane set his sights on these divided rivals. He was outnumbered, but he had a plan. Oktanish, a chieftain challenging his uncle Urus for rule of the White Horde, had sent messengers to Tamerlane seeking his support. If Tamerlane could defeat Urus and install Octamish in his place, then Tamerlane could rely on the support of a powerful ally. Alrighty, let's do this! Uh, yeah, I'll increase the volume in the future. I, I can't really, uh... I can't really do anything about that. Uh, you know, right there. Okay. Capture three out of the four relics held by the rival Transohyanan Khanates. Tamerlane's forces cannot advance past the castle age, but can support a population of two hundo. Uh, you cannot build docks or warships. There may be a good way to capture, capture a dock from the White Horde. Do not hesitate to use Tamerlane in battle. If he falls, he will return to his castle to recover from his wounds. Resources are scattered thinly across the open steppe. As you expand to harvest them, you also may encounter local warriors willing to join your cause. Killing Urus Khan will allow Toktamesh to control, take control of the White Horde and assist you against your other enemies. Forces of Tamerlane uh, command the fortified city of Samarkand. Okay. White Horde is to the west. That's the dude we have to kill, Urus Khan. Blue Horde is to the northwest. Western Shatagai Khanet. Oh god. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember any of that unless I step will tremble in fear at the sound of our thundering hooves. Yeah, I was I'm not gonna remember any of that unless I actually take the opportunity. To take a look at them when I when the need comes up, so to say. Alrighty. Well, this isn't what I, how I planned on spending first uh, first DE stream, but until they get those servers up and running, this is about the best I can do for you guys. So we have a pop limit of two hundo, which is pretty damn nice. Also, we start with, like, random-ass units scattered everywhere, which is annoying as hell. So, the one thing we're lacking right now is a good wood line, so we'll just go for four TCs. And put the fourth one 
Wherever up, oh, that's the Gaia sound. Hunting wolves, Pog Champ. Hmm, wood lines seem to be a bit of an issue. How about over here? Perfect. Now this one isn't supposed to be a very hard campaign, so hopefully I don't like screw everything up and lose. I mean, we have a pretty huge army already. And we're in the castle age proper. Wait, okay, that's a... Uh, those are forge bushes. I also can't count. That's how we get to four TCs. So this is the Tartar campaign, in case you guys did not know. Or did not realize. So we are playing the new Civ, the Tartars. Whoa! Eastern Chagatai Khanate. You have done goofed by attacking my yurt. No, nothing shall save you from my wrath. Oh, wait, these guys don't even... They have ornamental walls! What's the point in sparing my life if it's worthless? We both have no love for Ulu's comment. If you will help me slay him, I will take command of the White Orc and help you conquer Transoxiana. Transoxiana, apparently, is how you pronounce it. And there is Urus himself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go straight for the kill. He's got pretty good stats, but not a ton of HP. But we're just going to freaking right-click him. Seems like everybody's in the uh, the castle age except for Urus Khan, who's probably, judging by his score, just him and his, like, his guards or whatever. But yeah, we, already, we have everything we need to get our economy up and running. Wait, did we kill Urus Khan? Wait, no, he's right there! What? I told you to right-click Urus Khan! Ugh. Wait. Um. Raid the Blue Horde's villagers to cripple their economy. The Western Chagatai Khanate is dependent on trade, destroy their markets, and destroy the mills and tents of the Eastern Chagatai Khanate. Well, okay. Admittedly, that first attack didn't go so well. Could have gone a bit better for sure. But that's okay. Where am I being attacked by? Oh, that was a wolf. Lol. Be the biggest streamer on Voobly? Nah. That's a trade workshop. That's not a market. I don't have a lumber camp. Okay, so I have one stable, one archery range. I have my castle here. Cav archers and light cat receive plus one pierce armor. Yeah, close enough. That's uh, enough villagers and we have wheelbarrow. We're taking the board in one trip anyway. It doesn't matter if they're under the TC or not. Oh, more random dudes. We have some Kashix. Why isn't Silk Armor plus one plus one armor? 
isn't it? Yeah, it's just zero, plus zero, plus one. Grab ballistics. And after our mildly disastrous first attack. Uh, there's there's Toke Tamach. Whoa, this dude has sick melee armor. Seven melee armor, 19 base attack. Wait, is he ranged? No, he's not ranged, but I, I, he looks like an elite Kashik. Uh oh. Blue Horde. That's playing in blue, the blue color. Bastards. Yeah, not the world's biggest fan of these scenarios where you start with, like, one of everything and have this, like, super spread out base. But, gotta make do with what you got. Anyway, we'll keep training some cav archers and do a, a hit and run with uh, Urus Khan. Yeah, camel riders are just camels, they're just renamed. Um, that is the White Horde. I never got Bob in. That is a rather large army. These guys are well upgraded. Kinda need to debate them over a little bit. Well, can't make an omelet without uh, breaking eggs. Yeah, definitely somewhat reminiscent of the first Barbarossa mission, what with the lots of enemies and the collecting relics. But these enemies are way more powerful right off the bat, because in Barbarossa, most of your enemies started in the Feudal Age, and you started in the Castle Age. But this campaign was like advertised as easy as the old campaigns, which is interesting because I know I'm playing on hard difficulty, but this is definitely way harder than uh, ye old campaigns. I mean, we're, we're still going to manage it just fine, but you know what I mean. So many idols! Oh shit, we're gonna need a castle over here too. Um... Okay, that is taken care of. Somewhat. That's not true, Tamerlane. Clearly he has never had dementia. The wood lines are pretty scarce around here. Oh damn. Wait, how did they get in? What? Okay. Situation very, very somewhat is stabilizing. Whoa, the White Horde score is huge.
Okay, there are some Keshiks I made. Keshiks are really good, guys. They're, they're a really kind of silly unit, honestly, because they're essentially like a, a paladin equivalent. Well, a cavalier equivalent. Like 12 base attack, 120 HP, 1-2 armor. So it's like they're, they're knights, but with two more attack and one less pierce armor, and they generate gold uh, in combat. Oh, Shaisa. Okie dokie. Gonna need to deal with this here. Yeah, this is pretty hectic for just the first scenario. With 30 less HP and 1 less melee armor? Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, we could totally be in, like, we're, we're far from, like, a game-losing position. It's just kind of hectic and annoying. Even assuming you're playing on hard difficulty, I would not put this on the same level as, you know... Attila 1 or Joan of Arc 1 or anything like that. Um. Yeah, I think we just need raw units. Make some Step Lancers. Pillager count isn't incredible, but uh, we're on 4 TCs. We can recover that. Ugh. Just like keeping track of everything is so hard. Kachuks are 50 80. Yeah, they're the same cost as a boy are, which is not very creative in my opinion. And we got everybody. Alright, back to putting out the fires over here. Yeah, this is Timberland 1. If I could not be attacked for like a second so I can get my wits together. That'd be awesome. I feel like I will not be so fortunate. Okay, we have a pretty large army here. Thumb ring. And we're just going to go for the snipe once again. Oh, wait, those are statues. Those aren't people. Those are cool. Hey, where's the dude? There's Urus Khan. Khan! All right. Um. Okay, that didn't go well.
What's my stuff, Lancer Hockey? Oh, yeah, E. I guess we can't just run in and snipe him. Because the pathing is not great, and all my units get stuck. And it definitely looks like not only are we against a bunch of enemies, but they are all allied against us. Well, except for uh, Toik Tmish. Toik Tamish. Except he's uh, not doing a whole lot until we kill Urus Khan. This is like the castlade version of the last Forza campaign. Yeah, seriously. Again, reminding you guys, this is supposed to be considered easy. <laughs> Not that I mind this. Like as far as campaigns go, I don't I really don't mind this, but I'm just surprised that they would consider this an easy campaign. Or maybe all of those like difficulty rating things fly out the window when you're talking about hard difficulty. Uh probably gonna need murder holes, honestly. count really hasn't been climbing high. Yeah, yeah. Okay, things seem to be calming down at least a little bit. Little teensy tiny tiny bit. Yeah, Tamerlane was definitely a badass. Okay, take three at killing this dude. Wait, there's a Rus Khan. Die. Oh, that's helpful. Tamerlane and Tokamesh, the White Lord, follows me now. Together, Tamerlane, we will conquer all of Transoxiana. You may use our dock to fish in the Aru Sea. Well, ain't that right, friendly of you, stranger? Also, what is this Aral Sea? Never heard of it. Pretty sure it doesn't exist. And we can, and should, send a Monkus to go get that relic. The first missed globalization. I've seen the same said for Genghis Khan's conquests. Okay. Now we seemingly have a moment to breathe. And I assume that uh, Toktamish will help us out now. Oh hey, there's more stone over here. So let's go over this way, because a lot of our attacks have been coming over from uh, the east.
Anyway, all of these fish here in the uh, the doesn't exist sea seems pretty nice. Like a couple more monks, just getting them ready. Grab silk armor, masonry. Can supplement our beefier units. Okay, which one? Okay, so we are in the eastern Shakati Kane. Excuse me. They are dependent on trade. Destroy. Oh, wait, no, that's Western. My bad. Um, Eastern Ch Chagate Kane. See, so, okay, so minor thing. Uh, if you're writing objectives like this, I would have the same sentence structure. Like, sentence saying that, oh, they're relying on mills or whatever. The Like, and then destroy the... The mills or whatever like the different sentence structure makes this like a little bit more difficult to read like at least that's how i would do it uh anyway destroy their mills and town centers that's a town center look at these step lancers man what you gonna do Uh, mills are right there. Looks like Toke Tomish is helping out. Go ahead and get that guy back. God, which one's the monastery? This is the monastery, yeah. For the record, Tartars have terrible monks. Uh oh, blue's in yellow's base, but I, I suppose that's just more of yellow's base camp. Oh, Tuck Timish! He's going out! He is not leading from the back lines. Anyway, yeah, I got five Pierce armor on these bad boys. No, it's a 2v. It's essentially a 2v4, with Urus not really being much of a player. Alright. Definitely a very tricky start, but we got her done. Or are getting her done. So, uh, what did that do? Um. What? What did that do? That didn't defeat them. I thought that would have us not have to siege up their base here, but I guess that is not what's going on. That's kind of weird. Oh, hey, there's more Gaia units over here. Yes, please. No more attack. Like, it should be clear, honestly. Ignore them? Well, I need to get one of their relics. The, the relics are in the, the cities. So even if they don't attack me, it's not exactly super useful because I still have to go besiege them. Anyway, they don't seem to be fielding up much of an army anymore, so maybe that was it. But regardless of what actually happens, the game should make that clear.
This is the Tamerlane campaign because the multiplayer servers crashed the first game I played. Nope. Because the only the only sniping I had was Urus Khan. For these guys, I had to destroy their uh, uh, mills and TC. Any gold over here? Ah, yes. Really don't need all these uh, farmers now that I have gill nets. Now well, they're still making some units. Again, it would be great to know what exactly killing those mills and stuff did. But there's another one of the new campaigns in uh, Pachacuti, which I have played. Which was indeed much more difficult than this, and that was a, a three-sword difficulty campaign. Also, there's a really weird ram bug in this game, where like a lot of the times if you have rams attack a specific building, they just won't. It's really dumb. Well, no, you, you already don't have to kill everybody because you only need to capture three relics and there are four enemies. Great help there, Tokhtamish. Great help. Do I have any straight like that? I should. See what's uh, I assume the relics like right here. Oh yeah, the relic, the relic is right on that bridge. Just need to kill all these towers so I don't kill my monker. I guess Tamerlane benefits from uh, silk armor. He has the extra pierce armor. Yeah, that definitely happens a lot, Trirem. It's kind of unfortunate. Anyway, let's bring up let's bring forth the monk. Hopefully like the towers won't switch their aggro onto the monk instead of the rams. <laughs> that would be rather unfortunate. Yeah, what are other streamers doing right now? Because I assume most of them don't really care about the campaigns because for some reason, a lot of the streamers in the community don't really care about the campaigns. Which, I mean, it makes sense if they're mostly focused on multiplayer. And, I mean, so am I. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, so... Um, Blue Horde seems like the weaker... Actually, no, the Western Chagatai Khanate's even weaker. Um, in the north. There are walls, and is the Blue Horde walled? Okay, so yeah, it looks like the Blue Horde is not walled. So even though they have a higher score, it would be it's going to be less of a pain, I think, to actually go through their base. So let's go for them. Because going through a bunch of walls and towers and castles is not super fun. Yeah, my campaign videos have been getting really good views on YouTube, which I'm duly grateful for. 
So, I mean, obviously there is some degree of, uh... You know, there's some demand for it. Okay, so yeah, that's where the, the western Chagatai Khanate is, even though they're located to the north. Yeah, don't worry. Your time will come one day, but not now, because Ornlu doesn't feel like going through a bunch of stone walls. Oh, you killed one of my wolves! Fuck you, man! Yeah, here's, uh, here's blue. And there is their relic. Die! Oh, I'm gonna need another monk. Yeah, okay, cue him on up. And we'll just bring him up over here and take this last relic. I guess I should reinforce some of my lost units. But we're definitely to the point when we're kind of overwhelming them. Oh, what? A counterattack? How cute. Well, there go them. Oh, more random Gaia units. I'll take it. <laughs> Circle plane, thanks for the host. Currently playing Tamerlane, because the multiplayer servers are down. Where is my monk? Monk! I need a monk! Here he is. No more infinite unit spam? Oh, don't worry, there's plenty of infinite unit spam in the new campaigns. Well, it is definitely kind of a bummer about the, uh, the servers being down. But what can you do? Just kind of have to make the best of the situation. And now we get to walk all the way back. Actually, we're going to build a monastery that's just closer. And we should be good to go. Then I think we win. Saving us the need to face these guys. But yeah, like especially at the beginning, that one was quite the quite the mess in the beginning. Yeah, they redesigned Cypress. Um, I actually started recording Cypress, and then uh, my game crashed. Like, but I was only like 10 minutes in. But yeah, they did redesign Cypress. Like, there's there's four brand new campaigns, or three new brand new campaigns, but there's actually a ton of new stuff. Like, as far as I've seen, I played the first Bari uh, campaign. That was brand new. Pachacuti is new for Incas. Transoxiana. Yay! Yeah, Pachacuti's not that bad, though. Anyway, see if there's anything else fun on the map. Yep, here is the Western Chagatai Khanate. Yeah, Bari 1 wasn't that bad, and it's it's fairly similar. Yep, didn't really... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that was just because I clicked on it. Lol. Okie dokie. Let's see. 
Oh, let's turn up the volume. Well, that's not too helpful. I have to do this this way then. As a child, Tamerlane had been dragged into Samarkand in chains by the Mongols. Now, all of Transoxiana was his to command. The leaders of the rival hordes all flocked to him to pledge their loyalty. The wind roared, whistling through the hall. Flames flicked in the great fires burning within, the distorted shapes resembling the forms of agile warriors. The lucky few that did not submit were destroyed with fire and sword. Towers were built from their bones. Tamerlane was now a great Amir, O Lord, but his thirst for conquest was far from over. Yeah, Sam Samarkand was kind of riding the struggle bus there for a good long while. Anyway, here are the achievements. This will be going up on YouTube, guys, in case you miss any and want to see it. Everything in quotes? Not sure. Anyway, um, I assume the multiplayer servers are still down. You bet they are. 